what is a SP file? SP file is also called as server parameter file and this you can see it uh, very commonly uh, being used nowadays. Nowadays being January 2013. Okay, and uh, no, the way it is, SP file will be used for at least a couple of more years unless Oracle comes out with uh, uh, a new architecture. <coughs> So, like I mentioned in the previous video, that an instance needs to read a parameter file to start. Okay, so in this case, there will be an SP file, and I'll talk about where it where it needs to be located and everything. But then, right now, just uh, uh, let's understand the basics. So, the in, the instance will read the SP file. And this SP file must be located in the computer server where the database resides. You may want to remember this. It must be located in the computer host where the database resides. I'll explain uh, why I'm uh, reiterating this because uh, and we will see that in the, in the next video which would be about P file. Okay. This is a binary file. It's very important. This SP file is a binary file and so it cannot be edited using a text editor like Notepad or WordPad. Okay. So, how this can be modified? It can be dynamically modified using alter system commands while connected to the appropriate instance. For example, if you are connected to a database instance uh, through SQL Plus or a SQL Developer or something with appropriate privileges, you would be able to modify the parameters located inside the SP file by using alter system commands. That's dynamically, you can do that. That's one thing. And the second method is the whole SP file can be converted into a P file, which is a text file. Then the P file can be edited using a text editor. Sorry about the spelling mistake. Text editor. Use like a notepad or something. And then that P file can be converted into a SP file. Okay. 